Okay. Um, a recount is now underway for the constitutional amendment on abortion in Kansas that failed earlier this month. Give us your thoughts on the recount happening um, in nine counties across the state. Well, I would say I'm a pro-life person. I wish that the amendment uh, would have passed, um, but um, I, uh, you know, the people have spoken. And um, I think the people that are asking for this recount, their hearts are in the right place. Um, but I think efforts are best spent on looking forward and saying, hey, you know, what did we learn in this election and, uh, and how can we be successful with this in the future? Okay, and now um, does the recent vote help guide your decisions on abortion moving forward? Well, I'm, I'm pro-life. I think that for me, um, what I noticed in that uh, election was that there was a lot of bad information out there. Uh, a, a lot of folks, uh, they don't want um, uh, abortion on demand. They don't want Kansas to be a destination for abortion, which it is right now. Um, and, and, you know, those same folks that don't want uh, abortion at nine months, they also don't want it to be eliminated completely. And so I think that we've got to, to go forward, take some lessons from this, um, uh, hopefully have a more honest campaign this next time so people understand exactly what the issues are and what issues are at stake. And, um, and, and focus on that going forward. For my part at the federal level, I'll continue to have a pro-life voting record. Okay, 